Hello there, this is Robbie Frank, online marketer and general business coach. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the difference between wide marketing and deep marketing. Now, people get this confused most of the time because they think that marketing is only one specific type of activity. It's when I come up to you and I say, hey there, I have a product, would you like to purchase it? And that's basically marketing for most people. But what they miss is marketing is actually a 2D spectrum. We have multiple different uh, levels where you can go. So there's wide marketing where you go, this is wide, where you go to the biggest audience you can find. This is something like a viral, a viral video, for example. Most viral videos don't really create an effect on their own. They don't really have a strong call to action that makes people uh, convert on very high uh, uh, percentages. But on the other hand, they do reach a lot of people and they create the foundation for you to build the deep level marketing. So this brings me to the actual deep level marketing. So there's tall and then there's deep. And what you wanna do is in your marketing, you wanna always have a combination of the, of the two. You wanna have wide marketing where you hit the most amount of people where they just think about you. Think something like a billboard for Coca-Cola, just a big can, it's beautiful, it's kind of juicy with water running on it, and the foam, that's a wide marketing angle where just many people see it. It doesn't really make you take action at that moment, but it does get into your mind. It's like a follow-up, it's like a click in your head. And then you have the deep level marketing. This is something like a, like a sales funnel, for example, or like emails where you have to read a full email just to get to the end where you make them take action, or a long sales page, or a long video, or a webinar, anything that is highly converting. So you always wanna have both, because if you only have deep marketing, what that means is you're very converting, but you're not reaching enough people, so you don't really have that strength. You don't really have an abundance of clients. You only have a few people that are really targeted well, and that's it. When you try to scale, you immediately lose uh, whatever conversions you've had. Uh, the same token, if you have wide marketing, but no deep level marketing, what that means is a lot of people are gonna think about you and maybe know your name, but nobody will quite remember you. Nobody will actually take action and move forward to buying. So you always wanna have a combination of the two, and imagine people hitting up different dots, and different people have different levels for uh, how much, how deep the marketing has to be for them to purchase. Now you have a few people that are on the very short end where these kind of people uh, only need a very surface level information to purchase. These are action people, people like me that are more about intuition and they just see something they like and they go for it. And then you have people that are most social, that are more worried about money, that are more responsible. These kinds of people, uh, you have to get a bit deeper in your marketing, which means you'll probably have to do uh, the billboard and also send them an email and then maybe a phone call or a message. And at that point, that's where they buy. That is like the money point. That is where your efforts actually turn into profits. Now we also have people on the high end of the spectrum, people that just would not purchase unless you actually sat down with them, showed them exactly how the product looks, how it works, all the specifications, maybe even show them what your competitors are offering. And so these people, we have to do deep level marketing. We have to work these people over a long time, sometimes days, weeks, sometimes months, sometimes years. But then at the end of the day, if your product is right, people would usually buy at the end. So the end is what's the difference for people. And again, if you only hit the, wide le the deep level, you only find these kinds of people because you don't go wide enough. If you only go wide, you'll only get these people. You wanna go both wide and deep. So again, lots of attention, viral videos, tons of money on ad spend to get to as many people as possible. At the same time, build your funnel deep so that people are uh, in, just get followed up all the time by you and the process of getting to know you just gets better and better with time. So again, you do that via phone calls, emails, SMS messages, articles, retargeting, sales funnels, webinars, anything that creates uh, 
the word is um, anything that creates investment in you, that creates a time investment or a money investment that gradually grows. So you build this, these people up like the stairs of, uh, of, of investing until they reach the point where they're ready to buy. So this was a short lesson on wide marketing versus deep marketing. Again, if you're only doing one, make sure that you'll start doing the other. If you only do deep funnels, make sure that you start going wide with perhaps a video campaign on Facebook uh, that you make kind of cookie, kind of weird, so that people share it more, and that way you get more exposure. And if your problem is the opposite, if your problem is that you're reaching too many people without getting the actual results that you think you should get, without the conversions, what that means is there's just not enough depth. There's not enough conversions there. You have to make sure that the process is actually deeper. Build more follow-ups, build me automatic messages, make sure people call the, your prospects. Just build a deeper process. So this was a short video on marketing. I hope it helped you. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to check out my ebook for $9.99 where I talk about my life story or check out some of Grant Cardone's products. He is my uh, biggest inspiration in life for the last four or five years. So thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow with the next video.